what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're gonna be talking about screen five today gonna talk about where sydney gale and dewey are supposedly at in their lives 10 years on from the events of screen four if you don't want to know this don't even bother watching this video but we're gonna talk about it here today because these honestly are things that i would consider to be very small something that i feel would be potentially shown in the upcoming trailer so we're going to talk about where these og characters are at now as it relates to screen five this is coming to us courtesy of a viewer anon and again another he is a trusted insider when it comes to things that relate to movies upcoming movies seen a lot of movies already that haven't even been released yet so he says so where are sid gale and dewey 10 years after screen four dewey and gale are divorced she got a show in new york and he couldn't handle it there he's no longer sheriff but lives in woodsboro and watches her show every morning sid is married with two young children now the one screenshot i'm not going to be showing it showing here is who is sheriff he tweeted that the person who is sheriff is judy hicks judy hicks is the sheriff of woodsboro now so just to go off of what we now see there once the one thing i want to say is congratulations to gail who has her own show now uh that's a very big deal for her since we know that in screen four she was wanting to revitalize her quote-unquote tarnished brand so it's nice to see that you know she is back in her groove we kind of got a little glimpse of that might be where we were going with how she was shown in one of the behind the scenes images wearing a very colorful suit that she had on business casual suit i'll just say not business casual she she looked amazing it was like a red suit she had on she looked great uh looked like she was back on her bs uh, let's just say that up to no good not up to no good but you know it looks like there's a, a big story and she's on her way to capture that big story for her now that we know upcoming show that she will have in the film sydney being married and having kids my my safe bet going along with what viewer non also commented is that the person she's married to will be detective kincaid from scream 3 which i know would be something that would be very satisfying to a lot of you uh i don't think we'll actually hear the name mark kincaid i think what we'll hear is the first name mark we might even hear kincaid just like a one a one name type of deal where we as the audience can decipher and interpret that as we may and maybe we'll get a, an official answer in a scream six or a scream seven or maybe even later on in the film where maybe she used the name mark early on where someone asked her about how her husband's doing and they just use the name mark or later on in the film after using mark the same person can say tell kincaid i said hi that would be like a nice little subtle way to go ahead and confirm to us that yes the mark that was mentioned earlier is detective kincaid from scream 3 and he's the father and husband now of sydney prescott since we know that they had a little thing going on flirtatious i would just say honestly with the way he would look at her i found i the way kincaid would look at her i kind of felt like this man wants to be good to this woman something about the way he would just look at her i was like this man he wants to be good to her so, so it's nice to kind of just hope and pray that th that's who she's with uh as far as like dewey dewey being no longer sheriff couldn't handle it in new york with gail's new show i would imagine that also he's just down bad since that image that we saw of him with that airbnb promo that we know they're going to be doing for october later on this month we know that we saw him in a specific type of attire now a lot of you have also pointed out to me that that attire was also the same attire it looks like he had on in that image that came out from brian tyler when he was sharing them working on the score and we saw that little glimpse of dewey on the screen with the mustache it looks like he's wearing that same attire so what i'm willing to bet is that while he's not sheriff anymore he's still living in woodsboro he still watches gail's show you know you lose your wife you lose your position as sheriff you're still watching your wife uh thrive and you're kind of in a position that she feels like she was in in screen four where she felt like she was just watching you thrive as the sheriff i'm willing to bet that he's probably down on his luck not in a really good place in life probably has a little bit of a habit whether that be drinking smoking and it, it honestly would would be fitting and match this type of look i guess that he is going to be going for in the upcoming film i just feel like that's where dewey will be at honestly these updates they're not that shocking they're not anything that i would again consider to be overly spoilerish 
the whole other thing that I have to say about spoilers and not wanting to know about this is because I've seen so many people already like in the actual Woodsboro Horror Film Club Facebook group that again you can go join if you want to that group is public when you go to put out a post there are no admin approval wait times the you can just post anything at any point in time so when i'm seeing all these people that i and it's not everyone but there are a certain select few and you know who you are the people who don't want spoilers yet you will actively join a group and you see the group is public you should also be seen that you can post whenever you want to post you don't want spoilers yet something tells you that it's a good idea to join a group where anyone can post anything at any point in time without the admins needing to approve it sure one of the rules is no spoilers allowed but that's not a that should not be a comfort for anyone who's not trying to have anything spoiled somebody saying spoilers not allowed doesn't mean that they won't have any spoilers that won't happen to just pop up on you they're going to remove the spoilers but here's the thing with that group the reason why I think you will not have any pending admin approval posts, imagine someone goes out there, goes out of their way, tries to post something that is a spoiler, let's just say. Admin denies it, person takes a screenshot of what they got denied, starts spreading it around as, hey, look what they denied me putting in the group. This must be, this must be true. I'm just saying that's the also type of vibe you could give off if as an admin, the official screen page denying certain posts, I feel like that's the vibe you would give off. So I, I just feel like we should all take accountability in the way we have control over what does and doesn't pop up on our feeds. Uh, but the other thing I want to talk about really quick was the film rating or the trailer rating. The trailer length will be two minutes and 21 seconds. The Alberta film rating site listed this. I'll leave a link to that down in the description. They rated and said that the trailer runtime will be like two minutes and 21 seconds. I've seen a lot of people saying that that's too long. I would think that they're going to do the Scream 3 approach where they're kind of just recapping, maybe to start off showing some old footage from the previous installments and then like quick cuts of the new film without showing too much. For those of you who think any and everything is a spoiler, I'll just say. But I'm very excited on what we now know about the updates of the OG trio and where they are in their life. Let me know what you guys think. Of, not do we though. Of course, that's sad. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and miss a video. In the description, I have links to all my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, and if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.